Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. NAM 2021, the virtual version, is pretty much over, and it was very light. I mean, you expected it to be. It was an insane year. A lot of companies probably didn't have a lot of room to get projects done, probably barely were able to keep up with things that they had already going. I understand between COVID, global shipping situations, there was massive tension everywhere. It was just a really insane year. So I definitely expected a light turnout when it came to new synths. Korg seems like they were really the only company that came out pretty aggressive with a bunch of new stuff. Behringer with a pretty strong second place. Then you had companies like Kurzweiler and Roland who announced a few things. I do expect it could possibly be an odd year in the sense that you see a lot of mid-year announcements from these companies just because they really couldn't get much done in time for NAM or things were just so disrupted this year that instead of things being released now, you might see a lot more mid-year releases. Um, we'll see. Time will, will play out on that. That's just kind of a hunch feeling on some of these companies that we've heard nothing from within NAM. But now that NAM is over, I'm definitely going to jump back into music and more music-based videos. It's about a week or two of nothing but you know news announcements. That type of content definitely allowed me to get caught up in other aspects of life, which is great. When I make tutorials and I make actual songs, obviously those type of things take a lot longer for me to um, actually edit, record, process. And the funny part is they generally don't get as many views as if I just turn on the video, talk for a few minutes about some general news within the synth world. Even though the views tend to gravitate towards my um, synth talk videos in the news. I definitely don't want this to become a 100% news channel. The core and heart of my channel when it started was tutorials and live jams, um, live sounds coming from my synths. And that will always be the core of my channel, even if it doesn't get as much views. To be 100% honest with you with the kind of the news aspects of my channel in the tutorial deeper music side of my channel it's a balancing act between releasing some videos that pull new people in you know get a lot of views and the stuff that i really love to do that i know possibly might only get 400 views but i love using that gear i love making that content so i'm gonna put it out anyways knowing that it's only gonna be seen by a limited amount of my actual subscribers and a smaller amount of new users that's kind of my balancing act with YouTube right now and how I'm growing my channel. And so if you're into the more music side, uh, the tutorial side, you'll definitely be happy because you're going to see a lot more of those videos pumping out in the next few weeks as I switch back over into that workflow. I need to thank everybody for the support during these NAM videos though. Um, just me acting like a little news broadcaster. Beyond NAM, this channel has grown so much last year and has so much momentum going into 2021. By far the most momentum I've ever had going into any year. I'm definitely going full bore into next year and anyone who's followed my channel knows I'm constantly trying to evolve my content and push it different directions. I really can't thank you guys enough for changing my life. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.